Now, there are two models in which this can actually be implemented. You can, as a, you can basically have your web application and everything is normal. And then right at the, say, PHP to MySQL barrier, right there, you say, wait, wait, <laughs> I'm passing this through like some SQL parser. Let me go ahead and wrap things up. And this works great. This is what's called late binding. The other approach is early binding, where you base64 the variable as soon as it comes in from the HTTP request. And uh, uh, as it passes through all of those functions, it remains base64 encoded. So it's a big pile of crap. If any of those intermediate functions actually need to work on it, they need to decode, they need to look inside, they need to change what they do, and then they need to re-encode. Now, here's what makes these approaches interesting. In the first one, and by the way, I didn't mention this, there's a new syntax. Instead of dollar sign foo, you have caret caret foo. And the reason why it's dollar sign, uh, the reason why it's caret caret foo instead of dollar sign exclamation point foo is it's just too easy to confuse dollar sign foo and dollar sign exclamation point foo. So we're doing a, a whole new character here. Um, the reason this is interesting, let's look at this second option. It's like star from foo where x equals b64 d foo. So you might look at this and say, hey, you're using old interpolation syntax. That foo could have some SQL injections in there if it ever received anything that was not itself already encoded, already crapified, if you will. This is true. But here's what's awesome. When you remove the escape function, nothing goes wrong. If this SQL here ever receives data legitimately, that is not base64 encoded, the world comes to an end for the web app. It fails closed. This is awesome. So, as a kind of a concept here, you know what's better than having a static analyzer that will tell you exactly what's happening to a variable as it traverses through your application? Not needing one. If it works, it's working securely. If it's not working, then you still have work to do because it's not working. We have to make security and reliability linked as tightly as possible. It also turns out that this works in the other direction. Now, hang on a second, I'm just grabbing some water here. All right. So 